Many of us who are impacted by hearing loss or tinnitus are concerned about managing symptoms like difficulty hearing, constant ringing, sleep deprivation, and lack of concentration. But what if you could avoid these symptoms altogether? Or if you already have some of those symptoms, what if you can prevent further damage that will make these symptoms worse? Most of the things that I'm going to be covering today are common sense things that you would just say, well, yeah, that makes sense. But some of them are not that obvious and all of them together are making a big difference for our hearing health. Avoid exposure to loud noises, especially beyond 85 decibels. Prolonged exposure to loud noises can really damage your hearing. It can tire your auditory system and your hair cells inside your ear. And if the exposure is long, it will result with permanent damage. Take breaks from loud environments. Give your ear a chance to rest and recover after being in a concert or after being exposed to loud noise or just being in a really loud, noisy environment. It might not seem natural, but your brain and your auditory system is literally reducing the threshold of your hearing, which will result with your hearing being worse temporarily. In order to reset that, you need to remove yourself from the noisy environment, get some rest, and then your auditory system will reset itself back to normal. Another really important thing is that the hair cell inside your ear can permanently be damaged if you're exposed to loud noises for a long time. So taking a break from a loud environment really allows those hair cells to recover and rest and avoid permanent damage. Lastly, if you don't take break from loud environments, this is exactly where tinnitus is going to be developed. Now, if you already have tinnitus, then this is exactly what will cause it to get worse. Stay hydrated. Proper hydration allows the hair cell inside your ear to function properly. And if they function properly, it prevents damage and your hearing is better. If you guys are finding these kind of videos helpful, please do me a small favor and like and subscribe to the channel. Also, check my new website. The address should be somewhere here and also in the description. The website is still growing, but I'm going to add much more information into it. As some of you may know, I started to do one-on-one -on -one coaching and that's also offered on the website. Thank you so much for considering this and let's move on. Clean your ears on a regular basis especially if you're someone that is prone for wax buildup. Cleaning your ears on a regular basis can prevent wax buildup, which can actually result with temporary hearing loss. Just make sure that whenever you clean your ears, do it very gently. Do not use any sharp objects and just use the normal Q-tips to clean your ears. Use ear protection in noisy environments. Again, another very obvious tip, right? But it kind of splits into two. Let's say that you're in an environment where you're exposed to noises that you do not need to hear, like a jackhammer walking in the background or some construction happening right next to you. In that case, you can just use normal earplugs that will just block the noise and protect your ears. The other scenario is that you are exposed to noises that you want to hear. For example, you are in a concert and you want to enjoy the music, right? Or you might be in a noisy restaurant enjoying a meal with family or friends. In that case, you are exposed to light noises, but you want to hear the conversation. In those cases, you can actually use earplugs that will block as much of the unwanted noises, but will let music and speech come through. So check that video over here, and you will see earplugs that will work for those cases where you want to enjoy music, but not, you know, have too much noise or you want to enjoy the conversation. But again, protect yourself from those loud noises that you don't need to hear. The next tip is probably going to get some of you upset with me. 
but I swear that I'm sharing with you things which are best on research. The tip is to quit smoking. The reason for that is that smoking damages blood vessels and we have many small blood vessels around the ear and inside the ear. When those blood vessels are being damaged, it affects your hearing directly. In the context of hearing, this is the reason we recommend that you quit smoking. Limit the volume when you use earbuds or headphones, especially headphones which are closing your ears completely. Listening at high volume will really be the same thing as being in a very noisy environment. The longer you do it, the more damage you will introduce into your ears and the hair cell inside your ear. In most cases, we can enjoy music or whatever we are listening to or watching at around 50 to 60% of the volume. There is really no need to go full volume or 80% volume or get to those levels that will result with damaging your hearing. Just like we go to annual checkups or we check our eyesight once a year or two, the same thing goes for your hearing. Doing so will allow you to track the level of your hearing as you age and will also allow the doctor or the audiologist to discover things that you don't even expect. So all in all, just a really good practice, just like we do for anything else in our bodies. The last tip is a general tip of just maintaining healthy lifestyle. I know that this sounds pretty general in the context of hearing, but there are many things under the healthy lifestyle that have direct impact on our hearing. I'll give you a few examples. Regular exercise and a balanced diet will maintain a good blood pressure and blood flow around your body. And as I explained before, blood flow around your head and your ears will have direct impact on your hearing. Plenty of sleep will prevent tinnitus and stress. And tinnitus and stress are a couple that are affecting each other and creating cycles. So just getting plenty of sleep will help prevent both or alleviate both. And I can go on and give you more examples of how general healthy lifestyle is connected to your hearing. But trust me, there are many things just like those examples where your health, general health, just affects your hearing directly. So I really hope that you guys found at least a few tips that are helpful for you. Please let me know in the comments below if you have any questions, if you have any feedback, if you want to contact me, just please use the comments below and you can share your own feedback about different things and we can have a conversation. And again, just a quick reminder that if you like the video, subscribe, like and join the community and I'll see you in the next video.